In this tutorial, you will learn about setting up solids and hydraulic retention time calculators in BioIn. BioIn allows you to view information about hydraulic retention time, also known as HRT, in two ways. The first way is by pointing at elements on the flowsheet. When you do this, the element HRT is displayed in the summary pane at the bottom right of the main BioIn window. The element HRT is calculated by dividing the element volume by the sum of all flows entering the element. The second way is to set up your own custom HRT calculation using the following steps. Click the Calculators tab at the top of the Flowsheet window to display the calculator's toolbar. Click the New HRT button to begin defining the basis of your HRT calculation. First, give your HRT calculator a meaningful name. In this example, we will look at the total bioreactor HRT, so let's make the name describe that. Next, define the basis for the volume term in the HRT calculation by clicking the Select Elements for Total Volume button and adding the desired elements to the selected elements list. We want to consider the total bioreactor volume, so the quickest way to do that is to click on the bioreactor group and then click the arrow to move them to the selected elements list. To remove an element from the list, you can click on it and hit the Delete key on your keyboard. Once you're happy with the elements to be included, click OK. Now we can define the basis for the flow term in the HRT calculation by clicking the Select Flow Elements button and adding the desired elements to the selected elements list. We want to consider the main plant influent, so we can select that from the COD influent group and then click the arrow to move it to the selected elements list. Now that both the volume and flow terms of our HRT calculator have been defined, we can click OK to close the HRT definition dialog box. If the model is at a steady state solution, the HRT will be displayed next to the retention time calculator selection list, in time units of hours. If you have a time varying influent pattern, the average flow will be used in the steady state HRT calculation. If you run a dynamic simulation with varying flow or volumes, the instantaneous HRT will be periodically displayed with an asterisk next to it. You can add multiple HRT calculators. For example, following the same steps, we could add an anoxic HRT calculator. You can also set up your own custom calculation for solids retention time, also known as SRT, using the following steps. Click the Calculators tab at the top of the Flowsheet window to display the calculator's toolbar. Click the New SRT button to begin defining the basis of your SRT calculation. First, give your SRT calculator a meaningful name. In this example, we will look at the total bioreactor SRT, so let's have the name describe that. Next, define the basis for the total solids mass term in the SRT calculation by clicking the Select Elements for Total Mass button and adding the desired elements to the selected elements list. We want to consider the total bioreactor mass, so the quickest way to do that is to click on the bioreactor group and then click the arrow to move them to the selected elements list. To remove an element from the list, you can click on it and hit the Delete key on your keyboard. Once you're happy with the elements to be included, click OK. Now we can define the basis for the wastage term in the SRT calculation by clicking the Select Wastage Elements button and adding the desired elements to the selected elements list. For this example, let's consider the solids intentionally wasted via the wastage splitter, as well as any solids unintentionally removed in the effluent stream. Now that both the mass and wastage terms of our SRT calculator have been defined, we can click OK to close the SRT definition dialog box. Note that if this is the only SRT calculator we have set up, the Active SRT option will be checked. This means that this SRT will be displayed in the status bar of the main BioIn window, as well as next to the retention time calculator selection list, in time units of days. If you have a time varying wastage pattern, the average flow will be used in the steady state SRT calculation. If you run a dynamic simulation with varying flow or volumes, the instantaneous SRT will be periodically displayed with an asterisk next to it. 
If you change a reactor volume or the wastage flow, you will need to resolve the steady state to see the updated SRT. You can add multiple SRT calculators. For example, following the same steps, we could add an aerobic SRT calculator. In the previous example, Biowin told us what the SRT would be for a wastage flow that we had input. Biowin can also solve for the steady state wastage flow to achieve a desired target SRT using the following steps. Define a new SRT calculator using the steps we covered earlier in this tutorial, or select an existing SRT calculator from the list and click the Configure button. If the SRT calculator is not the active SRT, click the checkbox to make it so. Notice when you do this, the Control SRT box is enabled. Next, place a check in the Control SRT box. A control that allows you to specify the target SRT becomes visible. You can use the arrows to change the days and hours, or type values in directly. You need to tell by when which flow splitter will be used to vary the wastage flow. Select the splitter on your flow sheet from which wasting is occurring. Notice when you click OK, the flow sheet icon for the splitter will change to include a valve as a visual indicator that Biowin is controlling the steady state waste flow. There is also a note in the splitter flow specification dialog box indicating that the value in the flow field is being calculated by Biowin. When you have an SRT controller active, notice that there are no longer options to specify whether the steady state solver will start from seed or current conditions. The solver will iterate toward a solution and the waste flow to achieve the desired target SRT will be calculated. Note that if we're solving for something like an aerobic or anoxic SRT, then if we've defined the total SRT that value also will be updated. Note that if we run a dynamic simulation the steady state waste flow will be applied, and the SRT may vary around the target steady state value accordingly. To achieve a constant SRT by continually varying the waste flow, we would need to use the Biowin controller. Check out the Biowin Advantage newsletter that has been written on how to do this. If you are working with an attached growth system such as an IFAS or MBBR flow sheet, you can choose whether or not you want to include the attached biomass in the SRT calculation. In many cases, it is the SRT of the bulk solids that is of interest. To have Biowin calculate the SRT based on the bulk solids only, Click on the Model Options button at the lower left corner of the main Biowin window and deselect the option to include attached biofilm solids in the SRT calculation. Once you have set up a calculator, the following points should be noted. To change the flow sheet elements used in a calculator or the calculator name, select the calculator from the list and click the Configure button. To delete a calculator, select the calculator from the list and click the delete button. If you delete a flow sheet element that you used in the definition of a retention time calculator, Biowin will automatically remove it from the calculator. However, note that if you add an element to the flow sheet and you want it included in one of your retention time calculators, you must add the new element. Biowin will not add them to the calculators automatically. The HRT and SRT calculations that you have set up can be plotted as time series. To do this, add a page to the album, right click on it, and select Chart. Click on the Special tab, and in the Retention Time Calculators section, choose the calculator you want to plot. Click the Plot button, and choose the series type. When you run a dynamic simulation, 
the instantaneous value of the calculator will be plotted. This concludes the tutorial on setting up solids and hydraulic retention time calculators. Please see EnviroSim's video library for other tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWin.